Hello everyone, and welcome to an introduction to interactive displays. This is the first episode in a little mini-series where we're going to take you through the different use cases that we have for interactive displays, how they fit into your office, and how they fit into the sort of hybrid workspace that we're all dealing with today. Um, my name's Warwick, I'm the lead designer on our interactive display team, uh, and I'll be taking you through uh, this first episode where uh, we just talk about the sort of core um, usage of interactive displays and how it fits within the hybrid workplace. So to start off with, uh, we're running the Miro app on our Windows machine here. We also have it on an Android machine, which we'll show you in some sort of following episodes. Uh, but to start off with, we have a center display and a start new board. Uh, the center display is really good if you pre-plan the meeting. You've got a presentation, you've got uh, some content to display, or you want to run a workshop, and you've pre-planned a board. The start new board is really that ad hoc experience that comes back from uh, pre-remote times when we're all in the office and we used to use whiteboards a lot. You'll have a discussion with someone and you'll want to quickly visually collaborate, visually think about this, um, and then save it for later or not. Um, this could also be a solo activity. You just want to think out a problem uh, and you want to use one of these displays and a pen to sort of uh, quickly ideate on that, that thinking to create an asset to use later. So the centre display will showcase it in uh, later episodes when we go into the workshop use case, and the presentation use case, etc. Uh, but to start off with, we want to take you through uh, the start new board. So it's as easy as creating a uh, board at a tap. Um, so you create the board, and this is an anonymous board. It doesn't know who I am at this stage, and it's not saved anyway. So you can do a range of ideating on this board and then wipe it out. Same as a whiteboard, you can do some thinking and then you can just wipe it out. So in here, uh, you have the navigation at the top, you can either exit the board uh, from the top um, and you can save or delete it, um, or you can go straight to saving the board here, which asks for an email address uh, at this stage, uh, and then that will save to your Miro account uh, once you put in your email address. Uh, close that. You'll notice the board defaults to drawing, that is because this is a drawing primary device, unlike laptops which have keyboards and tablets which their digital keyboards are, are much better and probably more ergonomic. Uh, drawing on here is much more uh, easy to utilize than the keyboard. So uh, we default to drawing and we also utilize active styluses. So when I draw with my pen, I will be able to draw. And then when I touch, I will be able to move. So this is detecting that we have an active stylus that uh, we enable the last used pen tool uh, or my hand, which enables me to manipulate the board. So this is really good if I want to diagram something. So I'm just going to up the size of the thickness so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, so here we can diagram something. Um, and then continue to move throughout the board uh, to create a sense of uh, a flow. Um, whatever that flow could be, but we can interact with our hands to move the board, um, or we can put, pull objects on and then interact with those objects with our finger, but then uh, zoom in, for example, and write something. Uh, with the pen, without having to swap between tools. And so this is really quite useful. Uh, this is really quite useful uh, when we want to diagram something. I will note it only works with active styluses. Some devices have passive styluses, uh, which we can't detect. Um, and so that is pretty much the use case for the ad hoc meeting. So you can do a lot of visual thinking, you can share it out with other people. Um, so the first person to uh, act on the email that this sends, I will save this and become an owner. So it is a good idea to save first before sharing, but um, we're hopefully improving that flow in the future as well. Um, so thank you very much, you can delete this, deleting takes you back to the launch screen, that session is now ended, so the next person can come and create a new board uh, or send a display, uh, creating a board uh, will just create a fresh board again, uh, create a new anonymous board, uh, and then you can exit it. So thank you very much, uh, and uh, look forward to seeing you in episode two. Great, bye.